Okay, this is a video for, happy Friday by the way, this is a video for the new Zigat, the Do Cinco and the Sino Cotres. I'm sure I'm messing that up. These are both, I believe, two isobaric dynamic drivers or a kind of version of isobaric and three balanced armatures and the difference between the two is that is the tuning. Um, if you're interested in getting the what I think in first impressions is the better of the set, which is the Sinoco Trace. Go ahead and comment below this video. You've got to be a subscriber to this channel and also the unboxing channel, and I will announce the winner in the unboxing channel. Somebody just said, you know, how often do you announce this stuff? If you're here just for the giveaways, you're at the wrong channel. This is for videos. Um, sit back and watch the video, and hopefully you'll see your name. Um, I got three graphs up. I got the 7 hertz zero 2 I'll explain why in a second. I got the Moondrop Variations and I got the Zigat Sinoco Trace. Let's take a look at what they are saying about this set. They're saying the Docinco is audiophile and that this set is studio tuning. Okay. Um, you see the Moondrop variations in the lighter green? Maybe I could get that in something that looks... Well, I guess blue is not... Yeah, we'll leave it at that. The Moondrop is known because of the sucked out mid bass. And, and also they had literal variations in what people were getting. So it was aptly named the variations. But a lot of people that watch my channel don't like that kind of tuning. Um, the Zero Two is up there because it is really... It looks like it's my collaboration because, let me quiet that one and then quiet that one. It pretty much is my target right there. Um, and the upcoming set with Kiwi Ears, his collaboration is really very much like this tuning according to how it relates on the other measuring rig that Crin has. So this is a uh, very common. There's a lot of sets that are tuned a lot like my target and I'm flattered. But I'm putting that there because that's uh, fairly very common in the budget. And also that's based on the Leasing X type of tuning. Let me, let me go ahead and pull back up the Sinoco's Trace. You can see that that's got a, that's got a bump that starts at around six, right where the sub bass is at 60 hertz and then comes out to about 200 and then drops back down. Listening to my library... Um, the bass guitar does step out. It's got some snap to it. Stuff like Big Boy Kill Jill. Um, the drops do sound slightly more significant. Um, it really is kind of impacting everything in a good way. So I, this is borderline. They're calling this studio tuning, I guess. This is, I guess, because it, it comes in at 300 hertz and it's clean after that. So, okay with emphasis in the low end. So I guess it would be studio tuning with with low end emphasis. Um, I think they did a really good job with the tuning. The difference between the other set, and let me go ahead and pull up the Monarch again, or the variations real quick. You can see the dip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the seven hertz. That is a, in replay of music that has four string bass guitars, that has a rhythm section with the drum kit, um, the impact on male vocals. Remember, it's all pre 300 hertz. 300 hertz is a number that a lot of tuners are very much aware of. You get past that and you're, you might as well be bass head. Um, and varying spots before 300 hertz are gonna give you different replays. Um, in vocals and also really the rhythm section. Again, low frequency instruments like drums and bass guitar. The Sinoco Trace is going after an audience like mine. Again, you can see how the upper mids that, it's got a very nice and sweet uh, replay for female vocals. To, in my, This is my first impressions. Yet it's got the snap. So this is one of the more cleverly tuned sets that I think, this looks like a, First impressions on this versus the Hype series, or Thea Audio in general, um, this is maybe their try wild stuff, whereas Thea Audio is a very kind of, they always stick to what seems like the same thing. It seems like Zigat is going to be their mm, test grounds for trying different stuff, and I think that the Sinoco Trace is gonna end up being quite a winner, because it's got the bass 
for a library like mine, um, but it doesn't get in there for female vocals, and it's got that peak at 3K, like a lot of moon drops that seem to help a lot of people with the way that they perceive and enjoy female vocals. So they're trying to get, I think, two different types of audiences right here. And to my ears and first impressions, it sounds like they did a very good job at going that way if that's the target that they went for. I'm going to briefly show you the other set. Now I'm going to go ahead and take down the moon drop, pull that down, and then I'm going to put up the... This is the... Docinco. This is a very typical, let me go ahead and pull this down. It's a very, very common type of tuning. It's got a slight bump up in the mid bass, not quite as much as the other Z gap, but kind of like that. And then the rest of the tuning is very nicely done, if not quite familiar to you. Um, I guess it, this would be the safe wreck of the two. Like it's, it's, it's got a glide type of bass. Um, it looks a lot like my target again with that little bump in the mid bass and then we take a look at the sino trace again and these it looks just a little bit different in the mid bass and it's got that peak in 3k like moondrop does and a little bit more late energy though it's lower than the ear gain first impressions the sinico sinoco trace jumps out at me more i've only listened to these for about 30 minutes each so this is really first impressions but I like that they're going in a different direction and that they're trying different stuff. Um, these are kind of close, but they sound more different than the graph would imply. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. The Sinoco Trace. Very interesting. I like the tuning. They did a really good job with that. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to comment below. Subscribe if you're interested uh, in getting the set that I like better, which is the Sinoco Trace. And I'll do a full review for each one of these sets probably next week because these are being released right now. And I'm out. You guys have a great weekend.